And it's such an intangible, weird concept, this idea that in 400 years' time, you know, the oceans are going to rise by an inch and there's going to be people on a deserted island somewhere who are all going to get flooded and that I've got to care about that. Well, I don't care about people getting flooded on a desert island 400 years from now because I know that if the oceans rise an inch, in 400 years' time, the people on that desert island will have found a way to move to safety one inch higher. Okay? Because humanity always finds a way to deal with it. So there's nothing to worry about. I'll tell you what I worry about. I worry about plastic in the oceans. I worry about litter in the park. These are sort of tangible things that I can be concerned about and I can do things about. But I don't care about the climate changing in hundreds of years because I know that humans will deal with it. So this sort of language that we're always hearing about there's a climate emergency, there's a climate catastrophe, that's all just bunkum. It's all just bunkum and it's all intangible nonsense. And it's like a modern day, um, it's like in the old days, you know, in the mid, mid uh, medieval period, they would try to scare you with all sorts of intangible fears. And this is just the modern version of that. And what I worry about specifically is the extent to which they're pushing this in schools and scaring children and thereby corrupting their development because children should be looking to the world, uh, looking to the future with hope, with optimism, with happiness, with a can-do attitude. And they're throwing all these existential fears and intangible fears upon these young children at school and overloading their minds with fear of catastrophe, all of which is just nonsense, absolute gibberish.